Welcome to Studio Lajo Krieg. This is Larry Krieg's Rail Video 31, Monorails Around the World. In our companion video, Monorails, Moonshine or Mass Transportation, we explore the origin and purpose of monorails. Now let's ride them. We'll go roughly in chronological order, beginning with the early 20th century Wuppertal Schwebebahn and moving forward. Operation began in 1903, and the single line is 13.3 kilometers, or 8.3 miles, long. These clips feature the GTW-72 train sets built by the MAN group between 1972 and 1975.
Let's keep the suspense up and visit Chiba's suspended monorail system in operation since 1988. Its two lines total 15.2 kilometers or 9.4 miles. It is said to be the longest suspended monorail system. It is built and operated using Mitsubishi technology.
Now let's skip back a few decades and follow the development of the other major kind of monorail, the straddle beam type. This was developed by Swedish industrialist and engineer Axel Lennart Wennergren in the 1950s. He founded a company which he named using his initials, ALWEG, to test and build this monorail system. Like the Stone and Lartigue monorails, Alwegs didn't hang from above, they rested on top of their support. But the support is a beam, broader than the rails used in previous systems, and the vehicle grips the beam firmly on both sides, giving it greater steadiness. This provides a practical combination of stability at relatively lower cost, and has been more widely adopted than the hanging systems. The first system to be built was the Disneyland monorail in Orlando, Florida, 1959. It sparked interest in several places, and three years later, two Alweg straddle beam systems opened within days of one another, one in Japan and one in Seattle, Washington. First was the Japanese monorail, opened March 21, 1962, in Inuyama, using Alweg technology licensed by Hitachi. Its 1.2-kilometer track was designed to connect Nagoya Railway's Inuyama Station with the Japan Monkey Park. The system ran for 46 years, but was not profitable. Eventually, Nagoya Railway's parent company, Meitetsu, pulled the plug December 27, 2008. These clips were taken less than two months before the end of service.
Three days after the opening of Meitetsu Monkey Park Monorail, Seattle's Alweg designed and built monorail opened for a preview on March 24, 1962. Its 1.4-kilometer guideway, nine-tenths of a mile, links Seattle's Space Needle to downtown Westlake Center, originally for the Century 21 Exposition. The system still operates only between the Space Needle and Westlake, even though several citywide expansion plans have been proposed and nearly implemented. Thus far, light rail has been the mode Seattle has favored for rapid transit. Two years later, Tokyo's Haneda Airport monorail opened on September 17, 1964. This system was designed and built by a joint venture between Alweg and Hitachi. It runs 17.8 kilometers, or 11.1 miles, between Haneda Airport on Tokyo's waterfront and Hamamatsucho Station near downtown Tokyo, where passengers can connect with several railway and subway lines. There are seven intermediate stations at Portside Islands in Tokyo Bay, plus stops at all three airport terminals. Moving west from Tokyo to Osaka, let's take a look at another straddle beam system. The Osaka monorail opened in June 1990 and now operates 28 kilometers or 17 miles in the northern suburbs of the city, serving three campuses of Osaka University and the University Hospital. In length, it is said to be the second longest monorail system in the world.
In addition to serving Osaka University, the monorail serves Osaka's Itami International Airport as its terminus. Station is Shoji. Station number 
final stop on our monorail tour is the Kitakyushu straddle beam system. Kyushu is Japan's southernmost and westernmost main island. Kitakyushu, which simply means North Kyushu, is the metropolitan region sprawling over the northern point of the island. The system opened five years before the Osaka line in January 1985. They both use Alveg technology as licensed, advanced, and developed by Hitachi. The Kitakyushu system is a single line of 8.8 .8 kilometers or 5.5 miles, running from the main Kitakyushu station through the business district to dense residential suburbs. The line is almost exclusively supported in the median of arterial highways and runs at a relatively high level, at a guess 15 meters or 50 feet above street level.
it's interesting to see how the monorail weaves around an elevated expressway both over a major arterial avenue. Well, this concludes our monorail tour. I hope you enjoyed watching Larry Krieg's Rail Video 31, Monorails Around the World.